Howdy folks, Banjo Dan here with Eclectic Banjo. I'd like to talk about my newest banjo with you, a 2016 Mahogany Neckville Phantom. Neckville brand banjos are known for their innovative designs and ease of use and soften out parts. In this video, I will be going through some of the banjo's key features, such as the fretboard and neck, a new tone ring and banjo head, the Gila mount threading system, and the cyclotronic ball bearing system, which is unique to Neckville banjos. I will also be showing video of the swap out process of the current tone ring and head for the new ones. Finally, I will compare the tonal differences between the nickel plated tone ring that originally came with the banjo to Neckville's wood with brass hoop tone ring. Boy, that's a lot to cover, so let's get started. The nameplate identifies the model and provides a 19th fret designator. The 7 to 12 inch radius fretboard allows for increased string spacing and easier fretting. The mother of pearl galaxy inlays are fun and unique. The relocation of the fifth string tuner to the peg head and the tunneled fifth string allows for quicker transitions up and down the neck. I just received my new hybrid tone ring from Neckville. It's a wooden ring with a brass hoop around the top. The Renaissance style uh, drum head. You see it's kind of like transparent here. And when the tone ring is on it, it'll kind of look like that. To disassemble Neckville's helical thread mounting or Gila mount system, the first step is to loosen the tensioning ring using the two wrenches. To loosen, I go clockwise with the wrenches. Using only one wrench takes considerable more strength than using both. Once the tensioning ring has been removed, then the wood rim can be taken out. It is stamped with the serial number and manufacturer date. The cyclotronic ball bearing system is sandwiched between the tone ring and wood rim. It consists of approximately 70 steel balls and 10 white ceramic balls. According to Neckville's website, the ball bearing system keeps the tone ring stationary while the head is tightened with the tensioning wrenches and it helps to create a more pleasing harmonic sustain. Change out the nickel plated bronze tone ring and frosted head with the wood and brass hoop hybrid tone ring and transparent renaissance head, then put everything back together in reverse order. To increase tension on the head, the tensioning wrenches should be turned counterclockwise I measure head tension with a drum dial. I am going for around 89 to 90 units of measurement, which should be between a G and A if tap tuned. The total swap out time took me about 45 minutes to complete, but I'm confident that I could probably get this under 20 minutes given enough practice. Overall, I'm very pleased with my neck fill. I play a lot of melodic style banjo to include non-traditional music genres such as classical and baroque. And the relocation of the fifth string tuning peg and the radius fretboard are significant advantages when playing up and down the neck. I will close by sharing my playbacks of the opening to Rondo a la Turca. The nickel plated bronze tone ring sounds brighter and more plinky to me and it sounds like it may be more conducive to bluegrass music. However, the hybrid wood with brass hoop 
tone ring sounds warmer, earthier, uh, having a more mellow sound that I've come to appreciate with the type of music I play. Additionally, it weighs in two and a half pounds less than the nickel plated bronze tone ring, which is a significant difference. What do you think? Feel free to leave a comment, and if you thought this video was helpful, I would appreciate a like and maybe even a subscribe. We'll see you next time on the Eclectic Banjo.